Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. Somebody asked recently how many journals I have, and it really started me thinking about that. I've never counted. You can see here, I will back up a little bit, is a journal shelf, and it is filled pretty much with journals that I made. And I think there is one on the shelf that Mary made for me and I filled up. That may be on a different shelf though. There are currently journals that are not finished yet. Uh, there's one down there that I'm working in. And let's see, there are several that I'm still working in. And then if we pan around the room, we have a shelf up here that also has journals that I made. Um, and then up here on this really high shelf are journals that were made for me. There's one journal up there that I won, which I hardly ever win anything. So I was very excited about that. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick count and I will tell you how many I've made. Wow, I'm amazed. I counted 72 journals that I have. And then in addition to that, there are e-zines that I've made, a year's worth of those, and there are other books that were already bound that I've written in. Um, and, you know, I've made so many and sold them and given them away. It's very interesting to think of how many I've made. That's, that's quite interesting. I had never thought about that. I still want to do a flip through of the Halloween journals, but for right now, I've got this box that we turned into a junkie journal, and I've got to uh, get back to it out here. I'm finishing up some custom journals. I went out shopping today to get just a couple of things that I wanted to have to go in these journals that I'm currently working on. So I'm back out here at it, and oh, I just thought I would spend a few minutes being creative because that seems to help just with the flow of things. And I have some trash. I also have these very neat papers that we made. Oh, it cracked. Look at that. Oh, how interesting. The paper tour. So we're going to really have to reinforce that. I'm quite amazed that that happened. So we're gonna have to do something to, um, well, I'm not, I'm not shocked. Uh, it is kind of amazing. Let me get out some. Oh, I need to get more duct tape. I built a shelf out here out of cardboard boxes and duct tape. So I used a lot of my tape and but maybe I have enough left to get through this that works out okay let's turn that back let me add a piece right here whoa hello I don't want to lose um I don't want to tape over that circle. And you know, this was an experiment after all. It, this has changed in texture over time. It doesn't feel as supple as it did when I first made it. So let's look at putting this in. Um, oh, that's right, I sewed that handle down. Did you see me trying to pick it up? And I just need to do some art, like painting and making some marks on things. Let's pull out some, some more tape. Oh, I cut that a little bit too long. Because like I said, I don't want to get into that circle, which I promptly did, but not, I didn't get into it too much. Now here, let's put this right here. And 
this tape, what kind of tape is this? It's not the best, whatever it is. Um, unfortunately, this kind of tape, the uh, duct tape, is one of those tapes where the high quality I have found is better. So that's going to kind of sit off the page up there, but we may be able to find a way to remedy that. So now we have that in. And I think I'm probably going to paint the entire back of this. And we've got these. So this one I will fold this way. <laughs> Hear that popping and cracking? We're going to have to cut this one down a little bit. And let's turn it this way so these stitches are across the top. If anybody wonders why I don't have decent scissors, this could be part of it. Actually, I do have some good scissors right now, but it's because I have a lot of scissors right now, lots of pairs. When I did um, one of my classes locally, I bought quite a few pairs of scissors to have in my um, my supply closet for that class. So I'm, I'm kind of stocked up, but I, I do tend to um, probably use scissors for things that people would say, oh no, don't do that. So let's put this in and just make a good old trashy journal. We can do some artwork in. See, I just want the tape long enough to attach here and then we can make it, well, maybe a little longer. No, I don't know. I'll do it about this length over here. I can also glue artwork to the other sides of this. And I might need to, um, where is it? I wonder if I could um, sort of score along here to make it close or fold out here a little bit. The lines in this cardboard are running that way. So it's been hard to get it to fold. But there we go. That's better. That gives it more, um, makes it easier to work with. What else do we have? I have bags from giving out candy. We might be able to sew some of this in. I think I might Let's see if it'll reach, if I can do that. Well, I did sew that in with just the three stitches, uh, three different places using the sewing machine. And I have one more of these. I'm not sure if I want to put this one in. I may do something different with that one. So let's put it to the side. And we definitely have more candy bags. Let me tell you, this year, I think I paid the most for candy that I've ever paid. The prices were so much higher, and the bags were so much smaller. And um, my daughter took my youngest grandson out. And they they don't live right here close to us. They're, they're not far away, but I didn't see him in person. We FaceTimed, but she said the neighborhoods they normally go to only about half of the houses participated this year. And I know when I was in the store looking at candy to buy, there were several people standing around and the, everyone was discussing prices and what they were gonna buy. I did go ahead and get candy because I know we have children who come by here and I love to see the children um, dressed up and they're always so polite, uh, little families coming by. So I went ahead and bought candy and I'm gonna use the wrappers dog on it. So look at this. This bag, everything was just so expensive. Very, very expensive. 
so I might try something different next year. I don't know where I'm going to get my candy next year, but we'll see. That would be fun that way. That would make a really fun pocket. Maybe I could sew these in too, but I am wondering, is this going to, um, I don't think that's really going to tear unless we really pull on it. But I'm also considering putting it in like this. Let's try tape on this one. Well, I thought I had it closer than that. But that's okay. We can put pages in between there. That ain't a problem. <clears throat> so we've got one, two, three, four. Uh -huh. You remember what I did with that? That's okay, though. Put it in upside down. Does anybody drink matcha green? I guess it's a green tea. Does anybody drink matcha lattes? The last couple of days I've had one from Duncan and it was really good. And it's been a while. I, I've got a, um, like one of my Amazon links, I think is to matcha. I don't know if I still have that posted, but I've ordered the powder before and I really liked it. But I wonder if anybody has a favorite brand or a favorite way that they make it. Okay, so let's tear that off. I might put in one more page for right now because I want to do some artwork in here. So I've been wondering, what is your favorite, anybody who wants to answer, you don't have to, and I'm not asking just to get people to, to leave comments. I'm wondering what your favorite craft stores are. Uh, there is a, like I'm, I'm fairly close to Joann's Fabrics, and I'm fairly close to a Michael's, but it's a pretty good drive for me to get to Hobby Lobby. And... I like Hobby Lobby, but it seems like every time I get in there, I end up disappointed about how much things actually cost once I get to the register. And I don't know. I went to Joann's and Michael's today getting supplies. And then we have over in Raleigh, we have a place called Jerry's Artorama, but haven't been there in a long time. I think it's probably... It's a, I mean, I know it's a good place. I just, I don't really know what their current inventory is. Maybe I need to just make a trip over there because I haven't been in a while. So let's go ahead and let's put one in, in this way. Okay, let me put my trash to the side. I have 
a whole container of trash behind us. At this time, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing, which is have a channel, create content, make journals, and do art full-time. Thank you so much for supporting me like you do. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate always your feedback and suggestions. Okay, bye for now.